hope everybody is enjoying 2020 so far. I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about life. Life. <laughs> and the most recent video that I posted. So if you did not see it, please go watch it. It is the video about the last decade. I titled it An Entire Decade. In that video, I have footage from the last 10 years of my life and it was really cool to reflect on that. Not a lot of people have that and I do. So I wanted to share it with you. I want you guys to watch it and I wanted to talk to you about it because I know there were many concerns, questions, comments, happy thoughts, and some sad thoughts. So let's get into it. Also, this video is about life in general. So you can kind of use that video as an example for what I'm going to talk about. So before I made that montage video of the last 10 years, I wanted to search YouTube to see if there was anything similar that I could kind of like get a visual of how I wanted to structure this video. I couldn't find anything that had to do with a person's life. It was all like montages about events or things that happened like music and this, that, like trends. And I realized that's because there was nothing really like YouTube 10 years ago. And this was one of the very few channels that started vlogging and doing something like this. And I was like, wow, that's kind of cool that I have this in the books and it's like a huge memory and I was fortunate enough to share it with all of you who have impacted my life. Anyway, thank you all for sticking with me for so long, as long as you have. I appreciate it and without you guys, like my life wouldn't be what it is today. Well, Nyla decided to take a seat on me. Um, anyway, <laughs> front and center. What I wanted to say is a lot of people do say that and I want you to know that I genuinely mean it. You guys really have impacted my life and I know as well a lot of you say that I I have made an impact on your life or influenced you and inspired you and that to me is that's like my goal that's that's what I love to hear in the comments is when you have something to tell me about your own life that somehow I influenced it's like such a great feeling to know that especially when you get into it deeper and tell me the stories because it's like wow for instance I was reading comments and someone said I learned English because of you I used to practice the words of things that you would say you know like that's crazy like you you learned how to speak English because of my videos like that's so cool there's a lot of different things like that that was just one example but you have influenced me as well I'm genuinely so thankful for that I have had many opportunities that I probably I would not have had if it wasn't for me like getting in front of a camera and talking to you and being on screen as long as I have so thank you I love you guys that goes along with something so simple as the likes as you know the progression of the years things have changed on YouTube and some Something as small as liking a video and even if you have a little extra time just commenting that actually helps because the algorithm and the way that that video show up in your subscription box it kind of depends on what you like I really would appreciate if you just throw a like on every single one that you watch it would be great and helpful to me anyway with that being said generally in life I know I've touched on this before but yes there are ups and downs in life and if you wanted to use my last decade video as an example you can see the progression of one's life. Obviously, it was video about 10 years, so it was kind of hard to condense all that. There were definitely some times that were upsetting and sad that I didn't show, and there were some amazing times that I didn't have time to put into the video. And for you too, like you know your own personal ups and downs. It shows the growth of an individual and the lessons and the things that you learn from everything that happens in life, whether it's good or bad. There's a lot of bad things that happen to you, maybe even something that you're currently going through, but you you will get through it. And I think it was a comment I read yesterday on that video that someone said, God doesn't put you in situations that you aren't able to handle. For one, I can honestly say I'm not a very religious person, but I think that that statement is strong. That statement is very strong. You wouldn't be put in these situations if you couldn't come out of it. You wouldn't. And. I had a lot of great times and when I reflected on the video, people were wondering like, how did you feel? That must have been really hard and really sad. I watched so many of those videos and I was happy that I had these memories documented and I could look back on them and I was like, wow, like that was so funny. I was cracking up watching a lot of these videos, just like laughing at how silly and dumb and goofy like a lot of the things were that happened. And you know what I mean because you've watched for so long, there were tons of ridiculous things that we've done. I decided in that video I wanted to focus on me and like my life life a little more personally than the life that you have grown to know about me. I chose to do that because if I were to feature like happy couple moments from my past, that would have felt uncomfortable for me to post that right now in my personal life. A lot of you didn't really say stuff like that, but I knew it was probably going to be touched on. Like, why did you ignore this? It's not something I want to ignore. I have 
nothing but happiness and love for all of those moments that I've had. Maybe not like a period of my life, it was not happiness. There was a period in my life that I touched on in a very few videos and I think that those videos were very deep on YouTube and you probably know what they are. There were major life events that changed my life and relate this to yourself because there are lots of things that change your life drastically and with that being said, I got through the tough times and when I was going through my worst times, I never ever imagined that I would be in situations like that and feeling like that. I felt, which nobody really knew this, I didn't express this, I felt so low, like so down and very, very, very depressed that I didn't, I felt like I didn't know how to live. To be honest, I really did not know how, I had to learn how to live again. I really did. And I know maybe situations in your life, you have to do, you have to do that too. But you know what? You're gonna get through it. Take me and my life as an example. It's true, you, you're gonna get through this that you're going through. Everyone goes through shit. This is something specific where I remember feeling so down that I would be walking down the street and um, I couldn't really lift my head up because I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel confident. I didn't want to look people in the eyes. I remember thinking like, wow, if I feel like this, other people feel like this. And you never know. When you see people walking down the street, you don't know what they're going through. Someone could be having like the worst things going on in their life and you just don't know. So keep that in mind when you interact with people, when you pass them, maybe just smile at them. And people don't always talk about their downfalls. Many people don't, I don't know. I just, I just thought that this would be important to talk about because I want to help you guys and I want you to know that there's always a positive that comes out of things. You're gonna learn from, from all of your downfalls. If something bad happens, maybe instead of focusing on the negative of that occurrence, turn it into how can this be positive for me? One day, maybe one day this can turn around. Even like with my mom passing away, that was like, what the heck? Who wants to grow up without their mother? That was horrible for me. I turned it into something positive later in life. Not not that like I'm saying everybody should do that. No, that's not exact. I don't mean that. But I'm just that's just like a small example. I don't know. There are things that that you can turn around to be positive. And I know, I know, when you're in those moments, you're not gonna feel it. You're not gonna feel it at all. You're not gonna know what what how it can get better. That was the one thing I remember saying to myself and asking myself and pray like. I told you I'm not religious, I was trying to pray for it and I would ask other people, when will it get better? When will I feel better? My freaking question for myself was when. Time is the answer. People would tell me time and I hated that. I didn't want to hear that. Nobody wants to hear, oh time, time's gonna make you feel better. But you know what? That's what it took. It took time. You have to overcome these things, get up, be stronger, focus on things that you know you have control of and make things better for yourself. Anyway, I hope that there's nothing going wrong in your life right now. I hope that you're all having a positive and happy year so far. And if you're not, don't worry. You're you're gonna be good, I promise you. I promise you. And I don't like to say things that I don't mean and, and I don't make promises that I can't keep. So you're gonna get through whatever's bad. I love you guys so much. It was something deep I thought about. Maybe it was as I was reading your comments last night. You're put on this earth for a reason. Find out what that reason is and freaking take off with it. I think I was put on this earth to inspire people. I do. I remember being young and like, you know, when you're younger, you're like, oh, what am I gonna do? When you're in school, it's like, oh, do I go to college? Like, what do I pick as a career? You don't really know so well at that time in your life. Like, what do I wanna do for the rest of my life? Everybody's like, a doctor, a teacher, like stuff like that. You, you don't really know, but you pick these things because it's like, that's what you're conformed to do and know, that's all you know. I wanted to help people, but I didn't know how. I was like, well, I wanna help people, but I don't really, really want to be a counselor. I kind of thought about doing being a psychologist, but I didn't really, really want to be a psychologist. And like, hey, I'm here and I'm able to help you guys through this freaking screen and get into your minds and like, it feels good. So find out what you're put on this earth for and go with it. Anyway, guys, that's all. I love you so much. Thank you for sticking with me. Don't forget to thumbs up the video because it definitely helps. Peace. 
the newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.